Hi, my name is Michelle Lassley. Welcome to my Essential Oil Masterclass. In today's class, we're going to discuss summer play and celebration and how we use essential oils to support these things. Welcome to my masterclass on how to use essential oils to support your summer play and celebrations. I have about 20 slides I wanted to go over, so let's get started. There are a lot of ways we can look at how essential oils support our summer play and celebration. This is a continuation of June's masterclass where I am adding celebrating. I am focusing on the top 10 oils because I've noticed a trend. Anytime someone comes into oils for a specific targeted reason, they soon learn the benefits of the oils in a myriad of ways. Sometimes those specific oils don't address the other things in the same way that the top 10 oils do. So I am focusing today's discussion on the top 10 oils, and then we'll give um, a nod to other oils throughout the presentation. In this presentation, you will learn how to use essential oils to support your summer play. We do a lot of things in the summer, and I will talk about using the top 10 oils to support all the things that I can think of. Full disclosure, I teach about and sell doTERRA essential oils, so I'll offer you a chance to buy your own. You can either get them today, or we can set up a time later to discuss. Today we will go over a little about doTERRA, how to use essential oils, the top 10 oils, some popular kits and information if you choose to get started, and lastly, how to reach out to me directly. Before we get into doTERRA and the oils, I want to know from you. So start thinking about this as you're watching the recording. What happens when you celebrate and play in the summer? What things do you do? What problems do you encounter? Where do you need support? So when I think about summer play, I think back to my childhood. And a lot of my memories are either on the beach that's shown here, which is Lake Superior, or at my grandparents' house where they had a grill and a patio and a beautiful pool. We would spend hours and hours either playing on the beach, ending with a bonfire where we were running around and playing football and tag as we got older. We were using um, the bonfire to roast marshmallows and eat s'mores, giggling and having fun, and all of the human dynamics that can happen when you're in a group setting. I was a shy kid and I didn't always understand my peers, so sometimes my feelings would get hurt or maybe I was clumsy and tripped and fell or something. Or oh, when we're in the pool, you know, we're swimming and we're playing for hours and hours and hours in the hot sun and then we go and eat, and we eat hot dogs and hamburgers and chips and potatoes and those things. Or I'm thinking about like when I graduated and my sister and I had a joint graduation party. So we had all of our friends over. It was at my grandparents' house again. So we utilized the beautiful patio and the furniture. And we're eating all of these things. And there's, you know, 50 to 100 people there celebrating that we graduated from school. And so there's all these interactions and all of this busyness. So when I'm thinking about play and celebration, those are the images that are coming into my head. And that's how I frame this presentation. So a little bit about doTERRA. doTERRA actually just had its 10 year anniversary. doTERRA was founded in April 2008. The founding executives had been in the essential oil industry for about 10 years previously, and they wanted to create something stronger and more sustainable. They work to create high purity standards, creating long-term contracts with sustainably minded, largely small family farms to source the essential oils. Many of the oils are sourced from around the world, including many developing nations. So to come full circle in sustainability and taking care of the producers of these beautiful oils, doTERRA curated an opportunity to give back and they created the Healing Hands Foundation. When we talk about using essential oils, we're really talking about three ways. Aromatically, we are breathing in the oil, either from your hands, from the bottle, on someone else, or in a diffuser. Topically, where you apply the oils directly onto your body, either neat, no other oil added or aiding, or with a carrier oil. We like fractionated coconut oil as a shelf-stable liquid that most people can tolerate very well. Internally is another way we use the oils. Some people don't realize we consume essential oils regularly, for example, in cake mix. There are several grass or generally regarded as safe oils assessed by the FDA. 
coupled with doTERRA's very strict purity and safety standards, these oils are safe to consume internally. You can put a drop in your mouth, take it in water, or put the oil in a veggie cap and take it like you would any other pill. What are these safety and purity standards? When we talk about using the oils, because they are volatile aromatic compounds, they are teeny tiny. That means they generally flash off pretty fast. So to get the great benefits of the oils, often we're talking about using very small doses frequently. If you're dealing with an acute issue, you might use one to three drops every hour. Next, we're talking about sourcing the oils from the best place they can be grown, often their native habitat. This means the oils have the most chemically complex and most therapeutic properties. For example, lavender grown here in the Pacific Northwest is very different from its origin in the Mediterranean, which is where doTERRA sources its lavender and rose oils. Okay, so how do we use these oils to support our summer play and celebration? In addition to what we've discussed, we will be talking about using essential oils for boosting our mood, supporting our muscles, managing pesky pests, and supporting our own health and setting a group mood. As I've noted before, I'm going to cover our top 10 oils and a few ways to, um, that each can be used to support your work in summer play and celebration. First up, lemon. Try by, um, to start, try adding some lemon to your water for a refreshing drink, pre or post play. When we play, sometimes we get stinky, so depending on what odor you are trying to remove, I might add a few drops to my laundry, like in the wash cycle. You can even spray down a thing, like an item of clothing or a counter, with water and lemon oil, and that will help remove scents. Lastly, lemon is just a really great cleanser, so with that counter spray as well. So thinking about cleaning our body though, sometimes when we eat during the summer, we're eating chips and hot dogs and lots of snacks. You can use lemon in your water, still or seltzer, to spruce it up. What you're going to do then is you're going to help curb cravings for some of those less unhealthy things. And it works to clean out your body from some of the not so great food choices you may have made. Now when we're thinking about a party too, that seltzer drink could be something that you use to offer your guests. And so now you've got this sparkling, beautiful, no sugar added lemon drink that's also cleaning your body. Or you could use it, like I t mentioned that um, oils are sometimes used in baking, right? You could use it to make lemon bars in addition to whatever zest or, or lemon, um, regular lemon you might use in addition to or in replace of. When I consider playing outside, I'm a pest magnet. The little bugs like me, whether they are mosquitoes or something else. So my first consideration when using lavender outside is really to soothe my skin. I use lavender directly on my skin and I'll use it either straight, so just you know a drop right on my skin, or with a carrier oil or lotion. And that's gonna help soothe my skin after playing outside. Not only will it soothe like wherever a little pest might have visited me, it's also great for after sun play. Uh, it calms my ways in my skin in ways I just never knew possible. For example, we did a lot of traveling this summer and we visited Mesa Verde and we spent the whole day outside exploring the green table and the cliff dwellings. And then at some point the sun just said, it's time for me to burn your skin. I did not take precautions and put sunscreen on and immediately I turned into a lobster. This is after being in the sun for hours. So the first thing I did was grab one of my lotions and I added lemon oil to that or some lavender oil to that and then apply that on my skin and it makes a really great after sun soothing lotion for peppermint i love how refreshing alert and awake it makes me feel if i'm having a sluggish morning or like we took a day trip to the ocean and i'm having trouble staying alert while driving i'll add peppermint safely in my mouth Another option is doTERRA offers peppermint beadlets and that makes it really easy to get just one drop of peppermint in your mouth. On particularly warm days, I love making a cooling mix with either water and peppermint or water witch hazel and peppermint. 
I'll put it in a little one ounce bottle and then I'll spray it over me for a refreshing feeling. And it's kind of like having instant AC in a bottle. When we're talking about playing outside, we're also talking about seasonal outdoor threats, which I may have mentioned. And along with those pests, seasonal threats threaten me often. So I never go anywhere without lemon lavender and peppermint. Together, these are great to soothe the feelings I get when seasonal threats are high. When we're thinking about celebration, this is another oil that would be a lot of fun to add to a drink, to add just some pep and some sparkle to maybe your afternoon drink. Summer really wouldn't be complete without the king of oils. Frankincense is an incredibly complex oil that offers a range of support. Three ways to use frankincense over the summer include uh, promoting great joint health after you find yourself walking or hiking, maybe more than usual. It's terrific for strengthening your fingernails. We often find ourselves out on display more in the summer. So if you saw um, at the beginning of the video, I'm wearing a sleeveless dress, right? So we find ourselves wearing tank tops and shorts and things. So this oil can help us keep you looking your best from top to bottom. And if you find yourself needing a little pep, try taking a drop of oil to the roof of your mouth every morning. Try it for a month. Many really do report having a fog lifted when they do this. And then when we're thinking about summer celebration, this would be a great oil to diffuse when you're inviting people over to into your home, just to really set a beautiful grounding tone. Melaleuca is a must have in the first aid kit. If, so we're thinking about play and celebrating. So you're running on the beach and you get scratched by something. This with lavender and frankincense is one of my absolute go-tos for immediate post-wash wound care. It can soothe the skin and promote healthy healing. It also suppresses fungal growth. So then as an added bonus, you're keeping your toes and nails looking their best especially when they are on display, like in flip-flops and sandals. Oregano oil is the next oil. As I mentioned last month, the more I learn about oregano, the more surprised I am. When I was sitting in my first oil class learning about using the oils for therapeutic uses, the presenters kept talking about its natural ability as an antifungal and antibacterial. All I could think was, wait, what? This herb that I put in my marinara? Well, yes, and you can cook with it too, and we'll get to that in a minute. Focusing on summer play and celebration, I would really encourage using oregano to be in your prime health so you can really get out as often as you want. Add a drop of the carrier oil, remember this is a hot oil, to the bottoms of your feet before you put your socks on. So maybe you do this before you go to bed and you wear socks overnight. Oregano can also support the occasional ache and pain from moving around. So you could add it to your post-play massage, like add a drop to your... Uh, deep blue, which we'll talk about later, or maybe you'd make a little blend with peppermint frankincense and oregano with some carrier oil as a massage when you've gone out and you're playing tennis or you're hiking or whatever. Lastly, it is a natural insect repellent, so you could even put it on a cotton ball or add it to a spray bottle to mixture to keep the area around you pest free, and especially when we're considering like having maybe friends over and you're having a backyard party. Now, with regards to cooking, try one of these two things. I, when I think of oregano and the herb and marinara, then I'm thinking of really fun appetizers, like the little mozzarella things where you do mozzarella, a tomato, like a cut up Roma tomato, and a basil leaf. Take a Q-tip, or I'm sorry, not a Q-tip, a toothpick, get the tiniest little drop of oregano, and then use that toothpick to hold the little appetizer together. So you'll then you'll infuse the oregano throughout all those goodies, and then you're able to hold it together a little bit neater. Or you could just add it to your marinara sauce instead of the oregano herb and just one or two drops for, like, I usually use one or two drops when I make like two whole quarts of, uh, of marinara sauce that I leave on hand. It's a really terrific way to use the oil. So you're getting all of the immune support plus the flavor in a really condensed form if you say ran out of the herb. And it, it takes me on actually a really long time to use the oregano herb. So I find that this is a fresher way than getting the herb and having it in my shelf for many, many years too long. And then you could make like a little cracker thing. Take 
whatever cracker you, you prefer, gluten-free or otherwise, a little drop, you know, a little spoonful of the marinara sauce and maybe some cheese and some ham or something. And then you've got these fun little appetizers using the oils for your party. The next four oils I will cover are popular blends that are a must-have in my first aid kits. Breathe is the respiratory blend. I use it most nights to help keep my airways open and clear for nighttime breathing. Read, minimize snoring. When thinking in the context of play and celebration, I would have it on hand if you're going to do like a bonfire or grilling. Uh, I mentioned, you know, many bonfires growing up. And one thing I've always observed about bonfires or campfires, and maybe you can resonate with this, is that the wind shifts and then all of a sudden the smoke is in your eyes. So you get up and you move and then the smoke follows you. So smoke is also sometimes really hard for people to handle. It makes it harder to breathe and the breathe oil helps. Just having this on hand is a kind gift to your guests to help support their breathing while you're trying to enjoy this beautiful community around a fire. And keeping it outdoors, if you're having an outdoor party, Lots of people, again, have various reactions to seasonal threats. And on top of the lemon, lavender, and peppermint, breathe is a great support either with those three oils or on its own. It's really amazing at opening airways. And so you can just instruct your guests to put a drop on their hands, breathe it in, and sometimes I'll even apply a drop to my sinuses, under my nose, and then on my chest. When I'm thinking about having people come in, I'm uh, really reluctant to dictate to them how they should present themselves, right? So sometimes people come and they'll be wearing hairspray or other um, hair things, and then they'll be wearing perfumes and all the things that we put on and people clean their clothes with all sorts of different things that sometimes have scents, right? Sometimes those scents are really overbearing for the more sensitive person. And so you could add, breathe, to, or like diffuse it so it's in your house or outside with the frankincense we talked about or on its own. So then just to really help set the stage of a really open space where it'll help clean the air of all these scents that people are just bringing with them. On Guard is the protective blend. This is an amazing oil for supporting and protecting your immune system. And it's amazing for supporting and protecting your emotional health and helping you to have healthy boundaries. So this is your all year round oil. For summer play and celebration, uh, consider this. Maybe spritz some on cut up apples and oranges. It's got clove and wild orange and some other oils in it. So it's going to add a spicy and then in addition to that, immune supporting boost to your fruits. For your buffet table, you could have a health corner. And you could add a little spritzer of On Guard. You can either get the one that doTERRA sells or make your own. And if you're making your own, you're just gonna add six to 10 drops to a one or two ounce spray bottle and fill it with distilled water. Then you have an instant hand sanitizer. So around all this food, and then you have this hand sanitizer. And if you're making your own and you only could include water and the oil, then people can reboost that spritz you put on the apples and oranges to get another little kick. What party? would with delicious food would be complete without relief from all that delicious food. So when I've had potlucks or hosted events, sometimes I like to get creative with my cooking and I find that I'm making things I wouldn't normally make on the everyday, right? So the foods are richer, there's more varied, stronger taste, and sometimes those can wreak havoc on the digestive system. So when you've created your party health corner, add this next to the hand sanitizer, the On Guard Spritzer. You can instruct your guests to breathe in the oil or apply directly on their tummies, discreetly if you want. You could also invest in one of the Digest and Partners, the Digest Tab. It's a tablet, kind of like Tums, only it's all natural. Lastly, we have the Deep Blue Rub. When I consider summer play and celebration, I consider, like I mentioned earlier, graduation parties or just random get-togethers, pools, play, and so much more. So for example, my son just finished fifth grade and we had a party to capitalize on the year. The fifth graders celebrated at a pool party that a mom hosted. 
So there was lots of water play. It's a big yard, so there's lots of running around and water guns and a little swing set thing. So there's lots of play and horsing around for hours. So what happens with some of that play? In addition to maybe accidentally falling down and some cuts and scrapes and bruises or misunderstanding of friends and tents and your moods are getting a little bit um, bruised and maybe you're looking to the out lavender and frankincense to reground and calm someone down, sometimes your muscles get tense. Or in other ways that we play, right? Like when we're hiking, we're going for long walks. I mentioned that we visited Mesa Verde this summer and so we did a lot of walking. Then sometimes we find we're using muscles that we forgot about and Deep Blue is great to have on hand for that soothing support. If you are going on a hike, put it in your pocket. It's a little tiny bottle. Add it to that health corner. Although if you do add it to the health corner because you're like having a roughhousing party or no judgment, um, I would add caution. You'll want to wash your hands before eating after using this oil. This is not one to use internally. So that wraps up the top 10 oils. Some other fun oils that you could use would be like bergamot or geranium. Tangerines would be a really fun one to use in drinks and things. Uh, Douglas fir and arborvitae are another some really grounding oils if you wanted to add that to your frankincense for a grounding blend. doTERRA has over 80 um, oils, over 100 singles and blends, and over 80 singles that to choose from. And remember, every body is different, and so sometimes we want to branch out from these top 10 oils. The top 10, though, are a really great place to start, and these oils are really easy to get. They're prepackaged in enrollment kits that I like to call the big kit and the little kit. So what is enrolling? When you enroll, you sign up as a wholesale customer, and that means for an entire year, you get 25% off retail. doTERRA wants an oil in every home, a healer in every home, so they also, when you are a wholesale customer, give you opportunity to earn free products to boost your collections, and when you find you're really loving sharing the oils, they even have an opportunity to earn money. The big kit is $275 plus shipping, and it includes a diffuser. All the oil bottles, except for the deep blue, are 15 milliliter bottles, which means there's about 250 oil drops in each bottle. The little kit is $150 plus shipping. All the oil bottles are the five milliliter bottles, which is about 80 drops of oil. This kit includes the peppermint beadlet I mentioned, and there's even an on guard beadlet that it also includes. It's a really nice sort of trial size starter kit. With the five milliliter bottles, it's important to note that it's about a third of the oils. So you're gonna find the biggest savings in the big kit, where you save over $160 from the retail pricing. If you're ready to join today, I will help you after this class. If you wanna learn more, let's set up a time to connect and we'll go over these oils in more detail. Essential oils are powerful tools that can be used daily to help promote the health and vitality of yourself and your family. They are safe and effective, so essential oils provide a great alternative to other methods. I'm inviting you to get creative when playing and celebrating. You may be surprised how much essential oils can do. Thank you so much for listening to this video and watching how you can use essential oils in your summer play and celebration. Send me an email so we can connect further. Bye.